In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a science fiction character, in this case Supergirl, using the clone cloth. For this character, I've used the bodysuit upper and lower from Clone Cloth for Essential Woman Volume 1, the Superhero Kit, and the Flowing Cloth Volume 2. We'll begin by loading Violet Bodysuit. She comes pre-dressed, so we need to add the Clone Cloth templates. These can be found in your materials library. We'll begin with the upper and we'll launch our photo program. In my case it's Photoshop. We need to create an opacity map for the upper in the shape of how we want her top to look. So I generally make a white and black layer and then I cut out the shape of the top in the white layer. In order to keep the map completely symmetrical, it's helpful to cut out one half at a time and then simply make a duplicate layer and flip it. That way you can ensure that both sides will be identical. Continue to cut out the back and the sleeves. We can save the opacity layer as a JPEG and now we'll apply it to the character. Our next step is to create the diffuse map. So I'll combine all the opacity layers and then I'll make a duplicate layer. We can now use this layer to fill with a color, in this case blue for Supergirl. We'll save this layer as a JPEG also and back in iClone We'll apply it as the diffuse map. Earlier I googled for a Supergirl logo and we're going to now put that on the front of her top. So we'll save that again and now back in iClone we'll apply it. We'll now move on to the lower. We'll select the lower tab and we'll launch our photo program again. And I'm going to cut out a layer in white around the bottom part of her bodysuit and also around her boots. We'll now save this as our opacity map for the lower and go into iClone and apply it to the character. We're ready to create the diffuse map now back in Photoshop. So we're going to fill the bottom part of her bodysuit with red. Then we'll fill her boots with blue. And then for the sole of her shoe, we'll just fill it with a black. In order to add some interest, I'm going to apply some filters to both the sole of her shoe to give it some texture and the lower part of her boots. We'll save that file again as a JPEG and then back in iClone we'll apply our new diffuse map. To finish off the upper, I've added a gold belt using the shape tool. I'll need to create a new layer and color in the area under the belt in red to match the lower.
I'm going to give Supergirl a different face and I'm going to add the spring hair. She has a larger head than Violet so I'll need to make the hair a little bit bigger. I'm going to add some accessories from the Flowing Cloth Volume 2 Fantasy Wing and Skirt. There's a crown and there's also some wigs and I'm going to add one of those wigs to give her more of a big hair look. Additionally, I'm adding a flowing skirt that I made earlier. To give her a little more interest, I'm going to add some elements from the superhero kit. Here's an example of some of the accessories that come with the superhero kit. You can change the color of the superhero outfit, add different emblems, there are gloves, and there's a lot of really cool special effects. For my Supergirl, I'm simply going to add some gold armbands and a couple of leg bands. The superhero kit does come with a cape, but you can make your own cape using the elements from the Flowing Cloth Volume 2 Fantasy Skirt and Wings. I'm going to use the trumpet. I'm simply going to position the cape on her back and I'll resize it, making it a bit larger. I can give the cape some color by using the diffuse and ambient boxes. And then I'll make some adjustments to the spring. I'm going to increase the mass and bounce and I'm going to lower the strength. I can attach the cape to her upper torso by right clicking on it and saying attach and then clicking on the upper torso. Here's how she looks in flight.